With schools about to be reopened soon, over 4,000 children between the ages 12 and 17 have received their first dose of the Pfizer vaccine as government rolls out its immunization campaign. The campaign, which was started last week at St. Sans Laws College, saw hundreds of students turning up at various vaccination sites to receive their jabs. Region 6 is no different as parents and students turned up in their hundreds before the September 6 reopening date. DPI visited several locations in the region to speak with parents and students to find out their thoughts on government's move to immunize youths. Our first stop, Skeldon Line Path Secondary, where 13 schools are expected, both public and private. Parents and students turned out in their numbers at various vaccination sites set up across the region. At Skeldon Line Path Secondary, Burbies High and Quarantine Comprehensive, parents accompanying students arrived early in anticipation of the Pfizer vaccine. The vaccination campaign is a collaborative effort between the Ministry of Health and the Ministry of Education. DPI caught up with advisor to the Minister of Health, Dr. Leslie Ramsamy, at the Quarantine Comprehensive Secondary. The former health minister said, based on information received, out of 600 plus students who attend the quarantine comprehensive, more than 450 were vaccinated. That's a very impressive start. I have also just left Barbies High School, where the combination of Barbies High School and the Barbies Educational Institute, the BEI, are being done and the children are coming out. Guyana is a blessed country in that we are one of the few countries outside of the developed countries that have access to the Pfizer vaccine. And therefore, in terms of developing countries, Guyana is way advanced in terms of adolescent COVID-19 vaccination. DPI also spoke with several parents and students. I think that's a good idea for the children to come to school. It prevent them from getting this sick and so. Okay. And it would be a nice that they come back to class. The virtual classes was actually really hard for me, but I still try to push my way through to get it done. I would choose the face-to-face -face learning because um, virtual learning for me doesn't exactly make me understand everything too well. But when I'm face-to-face -face learning, I can understand everything that the teacher is teaching me. It's kind of difficult because certain work is sent on the worksheet. You don't get somebody to explain it to you, and the parents don't really understand it, so they can't explain it to you. Say so before school, yes, and the teacher can explain it more clearly. I think it's the best way, and it's better for them to be vaccinated because coming back into school, it would be safer for them to be in a safer environment. And, you know, it will be better for them to learn rather than being home.